I haven't made one of these videos in a long time, actually. In fact, actually since... In fact, actually since October, I haven't made one of these videos, like, discussing... Discussing art and stuff like that. Um... A lot has changed since... I last made one of these videos. A lot has changed. Also with my life. Well, first of all, um, I'm done with my first year of college, which is fucking awesome. I'm going to be a sophomore in the fall. <clears throat> also, um, yeah, like a lot has changed, especially with college, especially with college. College has, you know, it's changed me quite a bit. And it's also, you know, it's also affected my artistic output you know, ending, ending college, it's affected, you know, how I want to present myself as an artist, you know, and not all, and I can, and I can, um, elaborate on the whole, um, thing with, what is it, presenting myself as an artist, you know, it's, it's very, the irony is oozing out of this video because I want to stay somewhat elusive in ways so perhaps this is a rare thing that I'm doing. I feel like I'm, you know, I'll just see where I go, you know, in regards to artistic philosophies and things like that. You know, I want to stay a little bit elusive, perhaps. Not many interviews. And it's, like I said, it's ironic because I'm making a video like this, talking about art and stuff. But, um, yeah, that's, that's one thing. Kind of more like a a Frank Arbach, Lucian Freud kind of character, but not necessarily like that. Like, I mean, it's, it's ironic that I'm doing this. Perhaps I want to be, no I want to be noticed perhaps, but I don't necessarily want to be seen. Once again, ironic that I'm doing this, but you know, whatever. I'm 18. Wait, no, 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 not 18. I'm 19. I'm 19 years old. That is true. That's another thing. I turned 19 in April, which is really cool. It's it's actually mind blowing that I've been on DeviantArt since I was fifteen, and now I'm nineteen years old. Holy crap! <laughs> so yeah, what's been going on with me in art? Um, recently I've been making the transition from acrylic painting to oil painting. Well, oil paints can be a little bit more expensive. I do feel like I can accomplish my goals a lot more with oil paints compared to acrylic paints because of the thickness of the paint and um. I feel like that whole thick, heavy impasto, I feel like that's what I've been going for. In fact, I've been wanting to, I've been elaborating on that technique quite a bit. In fact, actually since last year, since last summer, I've been elaborating on my impasto tech, on the, on my, on my, impa on my impasto technique. That's something that I've been really elaborating on, that I've been really wanting to, you know, work on and, you know, refine over the years, I want to refine that technique. Um, also, portraiture. I want to do more portraits. I recently finished a Van Gogh reproduction of his painting, Portrait of Armin Roulen. I recently finished a reproduction of that. Oil on canvas, of course. Um, what else? Like, oil painting. Back to oil painting. What thing with oil paintings, I feel that also, you know, it can be a little messy. You know, I've gone through three bottles of turpentine already. I also, I have a linseed oil medium that I use that can make the paint flow a little better, but I really don't use it quite a bit since, like I said, I like thick, thick paint. I like painting directly from the tube. And, I mean, um, just, I don't know, you know. I have a lot of canvases, really, so I have, I really don't need to spend more money on canvases. I have about, actually, looking at, looking at them right here, I'm looking at them over there. I have about five canvases. I have two 18x24 canvases, one 16x20, one 9x12, and one 8x10. So, yeah, there's that. Quite a bit of canvases, a transition to oil painting, which I feel... I'm probably going to stick with oil painting. I mean, like, perhaps I could go back to acrylic for a little bit, but recently I've been throwing out some of my acrylic paints in favor of oil paints. Also, I've completely... I feel like I've completely abandoned techniques like watercolor and gouache, just completely eradicating them, you know? I just don't want to use them. I started out with watercolors, but... What's the point? Personally, I feel. 
I don't really want to use them. I'd much rather want to use thick, menacing mediums. Another thing that I've been wanting, another medium, is spray paint. I've been buying cans of spray paint. I've been using those a little bit, a little bit with my work, but perhaps I can elaborate on that a little bit, you know, using spray paint more, but for the most part, it's really been oil paints, but I've been using spray paint a little bit here and there. But actually, aside from painting, two other things, two other, you know, mediums, so to speak, that I would like to elaborate on are collage and recently sculpture because of a class that I took last semester which focused on three-dimensional design compared to two-dimensional design so I made quite a bit of I made like four sculptures I made one paper mache sculpture with wire I made a clay sculpture which I don't have anymore because it broke and in fact I made two clay busts and one of the head broke off of that so I don't know how much I like working with clay, but, you know, I also made a wood sculpture and a plaster sculpture, and I recently bought more plaster of Paris. And so, perhaps, in regards to sculpture, I think if I want to work with it again, I'd probably work with, um, like I said, plaster, wood, or paper mache, mediums like that. You know, I want to elaborate a little bit more on sculpture, perhaps, you know try and incorporate that into my style. Aside from sculpture, another medium is collage. I like to do more collage work. Lately, I've been... I recently finished a collage, a collaboration on DeviantArt. I can, I can link you to my to the collage that I created. It's in a, a collaboration with the artist. Her name is Crazy Ruthie. That's her username. It's very, it's very cool collage. It's collage and oil on canvas. And, um, I also finished a collage for, for my, for a drawing class for college. And before that, the last collage that I made was a collage, just, it was acrylic and collage on artboard. I still have it with me. I don't know how much, how fun I am of my work, of all of that piece. Looking back, it's very interesting. I've been focusing more on composing from observation and composing, you know, from representational sources, you know, things like that. I've been focusing on art like that. I haven't necessarily been focusing on non-objective art or abstract art like I feel like I did in high school. I want to move more in a representational direction. I think I've said that before in one of my videos perhaps, and artists that I've, like, been into lately, like I said, are, like, figurative artists, like, I've been into, I've really been digging Frank Arbach lately. Frank Arbach is just astounding, you know, he's a sick artist, you know, his heavy impasto and the way he builds up really thick paint, that's something that I, that I myself am influenced by, very much so, and Van Gogh's portraits, too, are something that I've been you know, interested in, which is why I did that Van Gogh reproduction. And a few other artists are, you know, Hannah Hawk, Kurt Schwitters, you know, people like that, you know, people who would work in collage, people who made, I like the, the surreal malice of stuff like that. In particular, Kurt Schwitters. Hannah Hawk is all right, but I really like you know, well, I'm really interested in Kurt Schwitters, you know, I want to, you know, um, elaborate. Well, not really elaborate, but just research it more. Um, so aside from Frank Arbach, of course, Vincent Van Gogh, um, Hannah Hawk, Kurt Schwitters. In regards to sculpture pieces, you know, there's a few could be, you know, Mark DeSuvero is a sculptor that, you know, I have some kind of interest in from, you know, reading textbooks at, you know, school. Robert Rauschenberg is another artist that, you know, is interesting, of course. He's something that, you know, is just brilliant. You know, it's very, you know, abrasive and violent and brutal, his work. So, yeah, there's stuff like that. <laughs> A lot of, a lot of stuff has happened. A lot of stuff has happened. And I'm excited to see, you know, where I can, 
where I can go from here. I have, you know, just keep evolving, keep growing. That's pretty much it.